guys, this is Diego Gonzalez from MindlessPaint.com and today I got a cool awesome package from my Iwata. Uh, they sent me some cool stuff. They actually sent me an airbrush. Uh, it is an Iwata, let me see, Iwata HPC Highline Airbrush. So I'm going to check that out and they sent me some other cool stuff inside here so I'm going to review it. Um, let you guys know what I think, uh, what I like about it, what kind of stuff it is, how useful it is. They sent me the kind of Iwata um, package cleaning tools and dope airbrush and uh, I want to help share all my knowledge over the years guys I appreciate you guys following me and uh, I want to show you like what I think about it and some of the tips and tricks I know well over all the years when I started out airbrushing pretty much I didn't know anything like I didn't know what to do what tools I didn't know anything about anything and I wish I had somebody that knew some stuff that was willing to share everything like me so I want to share all the stuff I'm not holding anything back what paints I use what guns I use what kind of tools I like, how to clean my guns, all that cool stuff, man. Because I think like sharing stuff makes us all better. And you know, that's what, what I'm all about, you know. So I want to do that. I really know that I'm one of the guys in the airbrush community that wants to help. You know what I'm saying? I want to share stuff. I'm not hiding anything. I know a lot of a lot of guys always hiding stuff, so I'm not going to do that. So I want to go through the stuff, let you guys know what I think. And um, I appreciate it, man. So follow my channel, subscribe. Um, drop a comment, let me know what kind of airbrushes you use, what tools you use, what kind of cleaning stuff you use. And I, uh, you know, love, appreciate hearing about what all you guys do and what you guys think also too. So I'm gonna go over my review, just check it out. And I uh, appreciate you guys following my channel. So let's get started, all right? So I wanted to send me, uh, you know, a lot of tools, our toolkits, really cool. And um, products for my WADA. Here they go. And so our tools sent me a lot of awesome stuff. I wanted to send me their uh, cleaning kit for their airbrushes. It's super awesome. Uh, some studio wipes they sent me, which is uh, nice to clean for clean airbrushes. Um, they sent me, you know, that, so this package pretty much includes the uh, Iwata nozzle wrench, the Iwata LED magnifier, the uh, some illustration manual that kind of tells you about the uh, gun. Um, they had some pipe cleaners to help clean, uh, you know, the little areas inside your airbrush guns, which is nice. Um, a little washing brush, which is actually a hard bristle inside there. And here's all the products right here. And you know, the airbrush cleaner also. So here's a little view, top view of everything. And uh, I think the cleaning pipes, that was really cool. Actually, I think that's pretty dope. Airbrush cleaner, duty wipes. I use alcohol wipes, so it's nice actually having what's made for the airbrush to use. I think that's neat. So it's like a little closer view of the um, brush too. So here's the um, magnifying lens. The LED, it's actually an LED light and it's used for expecting the airbrush parts in about 30 to 60 times with a white and uh, you know kind of a bluish LED light. So you can use the bigger lens right there to focus and the smaller lens also to focus to see two different sizes, which I think is cool. And it has a light, which is super nifty because I'm always actually positioning my light inside of the gun and it totally sucks. So this actually like has it all in one. 
so I like using that. And this is probably something I wouldn't buy myself until I used it, but until I use it, you know, then I see it very useful. So here's some of the Iwata pipe cleaners. I like them a lot. They're soft. I use uh, some other ones usually. And this is, you know, some lube, uh, airbrush lubricant, and then some, uh, also some uh, parts to clean inside. Here's a Iwata nozzle wrench. I have one of these in another package already, but this is separate, and then some airbrush cleaner, which is nice. So, and also uh, studio wipes, always good to have. I mean, you just, they're so useful. Like you don't think about those, but I always take them when I'm doing like my shoots in Hollywood or on the jobs, they're a lifesaver. To clean up like spray or just like paint or like uh, body paints and makeup, saves, you know, so, so good. So here's the airbrush gun, I'm unwrapping it now. And what they sent me was, one of the um, Iwata, you know, airbrushes, which is HPCH gun, one of the Highline series of the H control for the you know high precision work. Really cool, you know, just some quick stuff about it. You know, it's uh, you know a, you know a micro airbrush, and uh, it has a little actually Mac valve down there. And here's the color cup inside. I'm kind of looking at it, getting to inspect it, and getting to know it. Um, the Highline series actually is made of, you know, like I have a pack needle, you know, you know, you know, a lot of parts. This part right here at the bottom is what I'm really interested in too, because it allows me to actually change air pressure instantly. You know, so it can change, you know, going back and forth and controlling the airbrush from the main uh, compressor. Which when you're doing detail, man, so much time and you can get so much detail. So I'm testing the trigger right here, kind of feeling it. As I go, and it, I like it. it's a smooth action. Um, I usually use the Iwat Eclipses, so this is a little different. So I'm definitely gonna do another video um, testing that out. So it actually has a, a larger diameter thread on the nozzle uh, for the high performance series, so it makes the nozzle like stronger when. Uh, you tighten on the airbrush and it makes you know for better like uh, I guess they say centering of the nozzle when it's uh, screwed onto the airbrush body. So I want to see uh, how that works also. So here's a zoomed in version and there's the needle, the little tip. I'm always taking paint on and off of this part, so that's really important. And um, kind of messing with the Mac valve. It's actually a point uh, 0 0.3 millimeter nozzle, and uh, the color cup inside is a you know a third of an ounce or nine millimeters. Uh, this is actually called one of the gravity feeds and um, so I like the nozzle so it's big enough to spray thicker um, layers but small enough to add detail so you can use it for like uh, automotive um, paints or watercolor solvents and you know acrylics pretty much all kinds of mediums which I like so I'm playing with the trigger again I'm, I'm, I always mess with the trigger, that's like the thing that I really gotta adjust and make the most comfortable before I start shooting um, paint or you know painting a project. I like to like open up the gun and set the trigger really nice. So I'm showing you uh, some, it's chrome, cool, I like it. It's a little bit heavier too, so it feels a little heavier than the Iwata Eclipses, which, um, you know, it feels like it's quality made, which is nice, you know. I kind of like that feeling, you know, but it depends how you like guns too. You know, some people want, make, want them lighter. Um, it all depends. So I'm kind of like adjusting the gun, the nozzle. I'm just messing around with it, you know. This is probably like the favorite thing that I got. That I really want to, um, you know, learn really well how to use, especially with, you know, the little um, the Mac valve at the end. Here's the um, Iwata kind of, you know, just cutting mat, cutting. You know, always good to have exacto knife when you're cutting projects, cutting all kinds of stuff. I lose mine all the time. And it's actually, this one's actually kind of nice, heavyweight. Just something little to add to it, you know. It's cool to have. 
Sem exacto, ¿no? no. Some uh, inside, um, some little like, you know, dental pieces to clean the inside of the guns. I went to the uh, a workshop, one of the, one of, one of the workshops they had at WADA, uh, one of the engineers at, and he said he uses those to clean the inside. Uh, one of the maintenance uh, techs showed me that he showed me how to do that. And um, some of, you know, some just airbrush cleaner. And uh, here's one of the um, Iwata kind of interior kind of cleaning parts. What's actually is a washing brush. And it's nice because the bristles are stiffer for cleaning your airbrush cup. Like when I use paint brushes, they're like thin and they kind of smash. So that makes it the thicker ones, uh, the stronger ones, it's a lot nicer. So here I'm messing with the uh, LED again. Just to show you guys, you know, um, just a quicker, closer up look. Bright, man, the lights, I like it, it's nice. And it has like a little string on the end so you don't lose it. It actually took me a while to, to actually figure out how to open it, but I did it. So it's slow, I guess. yeah and actually the light activates when you fully open it which is really cool and you can really see inside of what you're doing to clean the gun as I'm looking in there so yeah so um you know uh, the cleaning kit's really cool. It's really good to have everything organized. And here's the Iwata nozzle wrench. This will take apart the little tip without breaking it because those things are super expensive. And, but if you take care of them, man, they last forever. I used to break them all the time, but now that I use that, you know, I don't break my stuff anymore. They last forever. So some airbrush wipes. Get to mess with those. Uh, these are super cool. I, first I thought there was overkill with that. You know, I'm like, uh, okay. No, I like this because what I used to do was, and someone told me to get the like pipe cleaners from Walmart and I'd buy those and they have all these stupid fuzzy things on there and it sucked. It actually used to get clogged in my airbrush. These don't have them. They're like defuzzed, you know? That's very important when you're cleaning stuff that you don't get it worse than when you had it. Like you want to make it cleaner and not um, clog it more. Keychain, cool. It's a keychain. I don't know. I don't have much to say about a keychain. Is that a little airbrush? I guess. Put it on my studio stuff. I'm just playing with stuff now. Just checking it out. It actually looks exactly like a replicated airbrush. That's pretty cool. And I th for actually first I thought this was the. Uh, cleaning mat the mat but actually this thing this is just a um uh what's it called a uh, mouse pad but i don't know if i can do both i'm not too sure about that one actually i have to ask pretty sure it's not a mouse pad though and here is the um airbrush kind of uh what's it called it is the uh, Iwata Medea pistol grip filter. There you go. So it cleans dry air, uh, you know, for cleaning, you know, the air and making it dry to flow through your gun. Really important. It, takes, it actually goes directly on the airbrush and um, delivers clean air, man, dry air. So um, in case you ever are doing a bunch of shirts or a bunch of projects where water moisture gets in there, man, this helps out a lot. So. I used it before. I, I don't put them on too many of my guns. I use it, you know, once or twice. I'm gonna try it again, you know. So I'm gonna see how I like it. Just because I don't like a lot of stuff on my guns when I use it, you know. I have one on my um. I have one of these on my compressor, so I'll play with it and see and let you know, you know, what I think about it. So I'm messing with the color cup and, and uh, the bristle. It's super. I like that. It's you know, it's like strong to clean it and 
If it saves time doing it, heck yeah. Because it usually takes me about like an hour to set up a gun if I left it standing. I've left it standing there for a while. So I'm cleaning the inside, just trying to, you know, um, just, just testing it out and seeing how it works. It looks good, everything um, easy, you know, nice, um, simple. Studio wipes, like I said, awesome lifesaver. So I'm checking it out and this is what's really nice about this stand. Um, I was playing with it, what I had is an old stand and um, this one, the things don't, uh, the airbrushes don't move around. They don't fall out, it's nice and durable. And that's really good because if you have a really expensive airbrush and sometimes I'll leave the nozzle cap off, if I drop it, it's demolished and sucks. So this is like a cool, you know, different way of making them. That's what I really like about that. It's nice, sturdy. Just good to have, man. It's, it's cool. It's heavy. It's actually really heavy, which is nice. It's like quality. So that's my review and I appreciate you guys following um, and checking it out. So that's the little, you know, things I'm talking about. The cool stuff I have to share for you today. So follow my channel. I'm gonna go over all the cool like, airbrushes, the tools, how I use this, what kind of detail I want, how I mess with the, you know, all the cool stuff with this, and also how I clean my airbrushes and all that cool stuff. So um, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna share a ton of stuff, man. All this insider stuff, and I want to help other people, man, and make other people better. So I appreciate it, guys, and thank you, Awada, for sending me some cool stuff for me to play with. Um, I love the Iwatas. It's always been since I, day one. I've well, loved using them. Top of the line stuff, man. And, uh, you know, you got to use top of the line stuff to do top of the line work. So, um, you definitely, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel. Let, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, what kind of airbrushes do you use? What kind of cleaning tools do you use? I want to know. And what kind of videos you want to see in the future. So, um, just check me out. I appreciate it. So, uh, talk to you guys later, man. All right. Bye.